What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage, another totally tubular two minute tool time Tuesday. Today, I got a little issue. I have these nice handy dandy tire racks up here, but I also have tires up there. And I have a set of tires and wheels there. And I got some tires here. And I got another set of tires here. So I'm starting to get a lot of crap in the garage and I need to clean it up. So today what we're gonna do, put in another tire rack. So this is today's Totally Tubular Two Minute Tool Time tool. Uh, we're gonna put this up. We are gonna make this nice shelving area up here all the way across to have all the tires. I got my uh, VMRs with the, uh, you know, Michelin Pilot P4Ss. I got, what are these? These are the Pana Sports with the uh, NTL ones. I have a set of the Ambits with some NTL ones. I got some R888Rs up there, more NTL ones up there. I got a lot of tires. We need to get these out of the way. So let's get down to it. Now I really like this kit. It is foldable as well. So if you only have like one set of uh, wheels and tires and you wanna get this thing up out of the way, you can, you can actually fold it up against the wall right there in the middle, it collapses and this can boop, but I have lots of wheels. So that's not gonna happen for me, but it will get them off of the ground because like I said, I got this freaking S52 uh, going on right now and I am trying to uh, kind of rebuild this motor and I started getting a lot of crap on the ground and I need to get this out of the way so I can, I can clean up around here. It's starting to get disgusting. You have these collapsing pieces right here and then you really just put on the poles. Hardest part is basically lagging this to the wall. I have to make another backing so that I can kind of double them up. I want to do like this. I'll attach it to my two by four over here. Got these nice little screws right here and I'm going to drive those with the uh, Milwaukee Impact. Oh, a bit of torque. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to drill some pilot holes. pretty much just have it set up. At the end, you're gonna go ahead and tighten up all of these bolts, but uh, let's get in the other side. I did go to the hardware store and pick up some hardware. It actually came with that, so that is totally cool, but uh, it does come with these as well. I needed some extra screws, so I went ahead and got those. That one is up. Let's go ahead and mount the other one. On this one, we're only going over to about that bay right there, as that's about how long it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure that out and get that mounted up as well. There is the new tire rack. There's the other uh, two. So now I got three up here. Let's go ahead and load this thing up. All right. This setup, I can basically fit five. Um, it looks really good. So I'm stoked on that. Now I can kind of get this tire, just, just a tire. All the rest are actually mounted up, but uh, you know, for the most part, this one fits five. I got four on there, five on there. Super nice. Look at that. That is, uh, that's pretty badass right there. I am enjoying that. That's a sick tire wall. Uh, that's a tire wall. And now shop is a little bit more organized. I still gotta do more. I still gotta clean stuff up because the motor swap is going down this week. I'm actually pulling it out. Uh, just finished up the CA tuned open house and that was super cool, but I wanted to show everybody before I tore it apart. So we will talk to you guys soon later and wrench on guys.